Come to order. Roll call. This is Billy. Here. Mr. Palone. Here. Mr. Siriani. Yes. Dr. Yes. Selly. Here. Mrs. Bastelli. Here. I hereby certify that this meeting has been published in the newspaper in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act and posted as required by law. Okay, our first um, presentation tonight is by Director Roba on um, ABC Fingerprinting Ordinance. Hello. Sorry for uh, the way I'm dressed up at the range today. So uh, we had a couple of requests to look at our ABC ordinance for ABC cards. Um, I don't remember when the last time it was updated, but it was probably quite a while ago. Um, it stated that you need to have a social security card for us to be able to process their application. Um, that was problematic for some people. Um, specifically, we have students that come here overseas for the summer and uh, it takes them like six to eight weeks just to get the card. So by the time they get the card, they're almost going home already. Uh, so I talked to Mr. Aaron and we looked at the state ordinance um, that doesn't have that requirement and we just want to change it to any, um, any valid uh, government ID. So if they have a green card or a EIN number or anything like that, that's that's a valid issued ID, we would be able to give them the ABC license. Just to give them one. Does that include the word current? I don't know, I don't have it in front of me. I believe it says I mean yeah, I mean it has to be valid. Acceptable. I think it says valid. It's valid. Acceptable. Would that include the word current? Valid. Yeah, that it would, it would, current? Right, it would have to be up to date. We wouldn't take one that was two years old. It would have to be a you know green card that's valid now. The, the ordinance references the state statute and state regulations and anything that the state ABC will take, we will take. Mm -hmm. And they will change their regulations periodically depending on what happens. So that's, we just want to bring it up to date. Do we need to add the word current for no. the sake of uh, the ABC employees? No. No, no, because no, no, you're, you're, we wouldn't accept it downstairs anyway. If it was. If it says driver's license, uh, it has to be valid, that's all. Right. That's all we need. Good. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay, our next presentation by Robert Beckelman, Ocean Front Developers Ordinance. Uh, do we have any questions on the ordinance that's on for this evening? We're just doing design. This is limited to, yeah, and we pulled out the pieces that were based on the planning board recommendations. So it's just the ordinance codifying the uh, design guideline and we'll take as okay. recommended by the planning board. Great. Do we have any uh, questions about that? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick That was faster than mine. Jane, do you want to talk about the show? <laughs> Okay, now we have uh, uh, Carl, Director of Jennings. Oh, uh, you're running the gun now, buddy. For <laughs> the relocation of the Recreation Office. We have lots of time to scrutinize you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I, I come before, before you because I, I would like the possibility of uh, relocating my office. Uh, I was speaking with um, Tyrone Garrett, the Executive Director of the Housing Authority and there's space there that I could use. Um, it's basically the same amount of space that we're at located, we're presently located. Uh, the issue mainly is the confidentiality for our clients and human services. Carl, uh, would you mind talking into the microphone? Oh, sure. Thank you. One major issue is confidentiality with the clients in our human service division. They come in, uh, they're, they're, they're intermingled with the people that come in for either meetings or sign-ups or uh, coaching uh, information or even our, our, our summer summer help. And I'd like to separate them as much as possible. Uh, they feel a little uncomfortable. Uh, also... Wait, how would you separate them in the new office? Wouldn't they be the same way? Uh, it would be the same way, but with the new office there's separate entrances that I could use where they could come in to uh, the human service side without actually having interaction with the people from uh, the recreation side. 
you said you spoke with Tyrone Garrett. Where is the new what location? Bucky James Community Center. At the center? Yes. I currently run some programs out of there now. Does it be on the second floor? No, we would be on the first floor. Okay. Where we would be presently, would, would, where we would be is where the um, daycare center was going to be. When the Bucky James Community Center was initially built, they had an agreement with, I believe, Checkmate to have space for a <coughs> daycare center that fell through. And uh, that spot has been vacant since uh, the, the facility has been built which is, I think, now about six years old. Uh, we've, we've had, actually, we were in there right after Sam, in a, uh, in a small section of that, of the, uh, of the, of the gym, excuse me, of the uh, community center. And we uh, moved out and, you know, to our present location now. We're talking about almost the same amount of square footage, but we'd be saving about $780 uh, a year. Oh, a year? A, a year. $7,800 $7, $7, a year. Excuse okay. me. The also, also another major issue is parking. During the summer, uh, between the beach, people coming in for beach badges, uh, regular uh, people coming in to, for sign-ups for our various programs, <coughs> and our beach staff, it's, it, it's, it's a nightmare. Uh, people have been parking in McDonald's and walking across the street. McDonald's isn't too happy with that. People have been parking uh, around the corner on 3rd Avenue, wherever they could find a parking space. The, the, the uh, parking lot right next to us on the east side of the building uh, is very narrow. Yeah. And, and if there's a van, sometimes there's a, a work van there, people can't get in or out because it's just too long. So we, we've been having that issue for quite some time. Uh, there have also been issues with, you know, people unfortunately panhandling uh, some of the uh, some of the people that are, are coming into our, our facility, and you know, some people felt a little uncomfortable. So, as I said, Tyrone Garrett is very uh, open to us moving there. The space is it, it, it's, uh, it's vacant. Uh, it would take some <coughs> some retrofitting, but but not not much. I would go over that with that with Kevin and with uh, Fred Migliaccio as far as that. My uh, only concern is it's kind of off the beaten path for people. To, if you if you're not familiar where that is, it's it's going to be a little difficult for people where they know right on Broadway they could go, and now they got to travel a little bit differently. You have to remember we're we were very much off the beaten path when uh, in our. In, yeah, when you were there. First, yeah, there, but people find us. And as far as the Bucky James Community Center, people know about the Bucky James Community Center. Uh, we, there are several programs that go on in the Bucky James Community Center, not just you know, recreation programs, but housing authority programs. I've also had several meetings. Uh, the uh, prevention, I'm a member of the prevention, uh, prevention Coalition of Monmouth County. We've had several meetings there. It's a beautiful structure. They keep it pristine. And it's really not off the beaten path because we are talking about maybe two, three blocks from our present location. But it's, 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 also, it's you know, on Central Avenue, which is basically the center of the city. I know where it is. I'm just saying I'm sure there are people who have no idea who that is. So we would be doing all the uh, sales of besides human services. Um, sale of uh, beach badges, the lockers would be done out of that also. Yes. And it would make it much more convenient for people to do that because of the park. Carl, what's the savings then? So what is, what's the annual rent or monthly rent now and what would it be there? I mean, I know you said it's seven, eight hundred dollars savings, but what's, what's, what percentage? Right now, we're, we're uh, spending 19, 19,800 a year at my present location. I think it's 1,600 a month yeah, there is. and 1,000 a month, 600 a month. So that's pretty significant. Yeah. So you go from like 19 to 12 a year. Yes. That's 7,000 
you know, the, the advantages in it. You know, it's a fully sprinkler, ADA compliant building. There's parking that's readily available. Is there a lot of parking? Yes. There's parking, yes. yeah. There's two lots. Yep. There's a lot on the east and a lot on the west. And on weekends, they, they, they usually utilize a school lot, too, as well. Yes. So there would be some fit out for, for Carl, which we have to figure out. Um, when he advised me of this, I contacted the chamber. Uh, his lease is up December 1st. Aren't we voting on So I asked uh, the chamber if they would uh, give us a month to month uh, during the time it would take us to, to fit it out. So they said no problem. So we may have to pay another month in December. And then, uh, you know, uh, Stan and Fred will have to take a look and see what, you know, the requirements are. There, you know, there's, there's phones and, and IT cabling and things like that, moving the furniture. So it's a little bit of work. But. As a follow-up, if we're going to keep renting, what are we doing with the Bay Avenue property? I also have a suggestion for that. Well, yeah, that building uh, has been taken I know down. it's gone. Yeah, yeah. I know, you know it's been it's, it's part of that, that phase three, phase three or four, three A, three B for Manhattan Creek Park. So we'll make that part of the park? At some point in time, that was the original plan. So okay. it's something we'll look at. You know, Jake is going to be coming back to you uh, for some uh, upgrades to Manhattan Creek in the next month, I think. So you could probably speak to that better, but no, I was just concerned because it's sitting there empty. And it's sitting there. It's uh, it's part of the Green Acres Park. Um, it is part of it. Has, it's absolutely part of the plan. Yeah. Okay. All what right. were you going to say, Carl? You were going to. I was going to suggest if we, if you do consider me going back there, that we could put um, modulars there, which would be, be a, a cost savings as far as building a, uh, you know, a, a bricks and mortar type of building. I don't think there's any plan to move back there at this point. Do we have money set aside from Cuba for that? No. For 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 recreation? For the building? Not that I know of. No. no. <coughs> okay, so can I have a consensus please as to whether or not um, we agree to this? Because if we do, I'm going to remove R two thirty four. That's a great mini development. development. No, that's a mini development. Oh, we, sorry. We, we sorry. Put your lease on, uh, specifically because you were looking at this tonight. Okay, good. So what we would do is if, if you have consensus, we'll get the lease agreement to Jim to draft up to put on for the next meeting for you. Okay. Um, Councilman Billing? I'm okay. Councilman Sirianni? Sure, yes. Councilman Billing? Yes. Me too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. A uh, review of the regular meeting agenda. Does anyone have any questions? I just about had a question about the, uh, the uh, the Jerry Morgan Park um, cameras and so forth. Can somebody just fill us in what the, what that's about? The WAN. The wide area network. Yeah, I'll try to uh, answer your question on that. Text oh, me. Yeah, well. <clears throat> the, what we've been trying to do is um, provide some type of security um, in the parks because we currently didn't have any. So we've been trying to prioritize. We start out with Manhattan Creek Park and we work there. And then we've been trying to. Um, Particularly look at where we have vandalism at. And Jerry Morgan was getting some vandalism. We just had, didn't have security there. Um, so what we did initially did when we picked the system that we had, we were able to retrofit different parts on and use the same equipment and communicate and save some money once we put up the infrastructure for that. So Jerry Morgan was the next park that Jake found the funds for and worked with Charlie so we could provide some security down there, um, surveillance and security at that particular park. And all ties into the city system that they can monitor it at headquarters, all the cameras throughout the whole city. So it's part of that wide area network, correct? Right? Yes. That's awesome. And that's covering the entire park? Yes. The lights in the park were being um, destroyed pretty much as well as um, some graffiti on the... Cherry Street is the next one that we want to 
try to work on that. We're, we're going to be we're looking to, to get on the agenda. I discussed it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Some park improvements at Jerry Morgan will tie into this same thing as well because there's some issues with the playground equipment. So we'll be discussing that with you hopefully on the 22nd. So Cherry Street is next. You're going to put the, uh, that's the next one you're looking at for the county. Yes, we have to make some improvements with the, um, the poles. Like the, we need, we got to figure out how we can hang these cameras up without them getting to them and ripping them down. Right. And that's what we're working on right now. Um, so once we get that done, that's supposed to be next on the list. Good. So this is already in place at Manahasa and has been? Oh yeah, over um, as well as probably, the last, as well. probably about 18 uh, months. Areas of the beachfront as well. Okay. Whole beachfront. Uh, Not the whole beachfront. Well. A good part of it. Well, we're already coming. Stan will be speaking about that also. We're going to be doing some, <laughs> some stuff in the, uh, in, in the beachfront area. But a large part of the beachfront is covered. We'll be coming back to get the rest of the code. Just out of curiosity, like have Jay, has there been examples where you've utilized it, and it's like what would be an, an example? Sometimes we have issues down there, not a lot, but like he said, a lot of times it's kids doing things, and you know we're able to look at the video and stuff. Sometimes it doesn't show us everything. You know, sometimes it's dark, we can't see things, but sometimes it does work for us for a weekend. And I remember um, there was an issue down there on the back street down there that we were able to use it to. Uh, I figured out who they were. Um, with the guy who lives with that Bay Street back there. Oh, the, yeah. The Man, yeah. it has in the park. The Man gentleman that was there, complaining. Yeah. There was one that we could actually see what happened. A oh, running through with his yard. Yeah, running through his yard. He, yeah, about yard and he said they did something, and we went back there. And, you know, we actually looked at the video, and it turned out they didn't really do what he said. But we could figure out who the kids were. You know, we pulled them in, the whole, the whole thing. So. so initially, there was some vandalism mm -hmm. with the boardwalk. <laughs> first opened up, and Charlie was able to run, run the... Uh, mm -hmm. The surveillance and figure out exactly what had taken place, who was on it. Do we have any infrared lights in any of the parks to help with the For night? night? Yeah, but um, it has night vision on it. Doesn't you know? Not still not as good as being there during the day, you know. But it is something. Good. Thank you. Any more questions? No. Okay. Then I need a motion to close. So move. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. I need a motion to adopt the resolution to go into executive session for the following items. Personnel matter.